Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a reading for Leo. Let's hop into it. We had two flip out right away. Knight of Cups in reverse. Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay, so it looks like recently you just went through a really difficult ending. This looks like it could have been career related for some of you. And for others of you, it was love related to do specifically with a water sign. We've got a lot of reversal energy here. So possibly someone that was really just playing games with you in the past. This person was not upfront about what they wanted from the commitment. They told you initially possibly that they wanted a long-term commitment stability. But what you ended up with was the exact opposite of this. This person repeatedly let you down, lied to you, caused confusion and chaos in your life. They could have involved other people as well, willingly or not. For you, they could have actually even had a marriage on the side that you were unaware of. This could have been with either a Taurus or another Earth sign. We've got Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus energy there. But look at that. This person actually just wanted to stop your wish fulfillment. So they came in as a potential suitor and actually didn't really give you a heads up that they were married. Seven of Cups in reverse. This person made you another option along with the options that they had. Heavy energy of a water sign. So you could have been dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Male or female. Take it how it resonates. But this person portrayed themselves as someone very stable, well put together, and someone who wanted a long-term commitment. And Leo, it looks like they just gave you a whole lot of drama, especially if you didn't know that they were married and you happened to find out in the middle of the connection. Knight of Wands in reverse, the Empress in reverse. So this person promised you possibly kids or a marriage, a long-term stable future, but meanwhile, they actually had it somewhere else. Four of Pentacles. And, you know, whoever they had in the background, this person was really just hanging on for dear life to the connection, not even knowing that you were involved with this person. So, Leo, did you know at the beginning that this person was in a marriage? Absolutely, you did not. So this caused a tower moment, but we've got it in reverse. So it's more like the person that you were connecting to, they received the tower moment because they tried to make you an option where they already had options. And so, Leo, moving forward advice from spirit here is just kind of to clear yourself from this energy and if you can to avoid this tower moment at all costs if you know this person's married this is spirit saying to walk away from this person and you're going to receive some abundance a blessing from doing so from listening to your intuition and ultimately from listening to the universe because the universe was trying to guide you away from this situation as it was not going anywhere. It's like this person could have said they wanted a new cycle with you, marriage, or possibly even just like a long-term commitment. But with this being in reverse, anything that they promised you was faulty. It was built on a faulty foundation. And that's why it's all going to crumble down. Now, good thing for you, this person, they tried to take away your passion and your inhibitions, like your ability to love in a sense by them not being truthful with you. They put you in some situation that they thought was going to leave you feeling stagnant and stuck and unable to move forward when it comes to a new love interest or career matters. They thought you were just going to be like heartbroken over them and not want to give anyone else a chance. But two wands in reverse, you're breaking those illusions. You're able to see past now and realize that hey, wait a minute, there's a ton of other options that are either A, currently interested in you or are out there available for you once you let go of this person that came in with a false promise and a false narrative of a love story to begin with. So we're going to get a couple love messages and see what comes out. Let's see what this person would like to say to you. Okay, that's a lot there, spirit. I'm going to get a shuffle here first before we take any. Okay, and first message out. There we go. So we got four that came out. We'll take these for the reading. It says, I am scared to show you how much I really care. I think I'm falling in love with you. So this could have been one of the things that the person told you. Um, possibly too for a few of you they could be kind of unhappy in the marriage and wanting to move towards a relationship with you but they're unsure how to do so especially if you found out without them being truthful with you that they were in a marriage it says I want to reach out but I don't want to say the wrong thing 
Every time I pray, I include you because you are such an incredible blessing in my life. Beautiful Leo. So this person, regardless if you are going to give them another chance or continue this relationship, they do feel really grateful that they met you. You possibly showed them that there is so much more out there in the world than maybe the relationship they were in. I feel like the vibe is this person could have been with someone they were either high school sweethearts with or just a really long time, long term connection and not realizing that they weren't happy in it. In case I haven't told you how important you are to me lately, I just want to remind you, you mean everything. So really beautiful. These are some of the things the person has possibly either said to you in the past or wants to come in and be able to say, but they know that you have your guard up, especially if you've discovered the fact that they do have another relationship. So it almost looks like the ball's gonna be in your court, but Spirit's saying, choose your intuition first and foremost. And if you do walk away from this person, you will be rewarded with a blessing for following your intuition and knowing that you deserve better. You deserve better than to be put in a third party situation with someone who is clearly unsure of what they want from a relationship or a connection. The vibe is as well, it's like whoever they were dealing with in the past or married to, they might not even have any idea about you, Leo. So this could cause a lot of confusion as well in their relationship. Now we're gonna see overall, is this person being truthful? Do they want a relationship with you collective or do they want to, okay, so yes, they definitely want a relationship with you. It really seems like the ball is going to be in your court based on the way that they have treated you in the past. Let's see if we can get one oracle message for this reading. If there's anything spirit wants you to know, any advice for you from spirit. Wow. Empathic star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. So at this time, just make sure that you are not absorbing this person's energy because they could be going through a very stressful period in their life dealing with their relationship and then you on top of it and knowing they want to change things, but you're picking up all of this person's energy. So really just ground yourself, meditate, pull your energy back and allow yourself just to feel what you're feeling in order to move forward with the right decision for you. Most and foremost, spirit really wants you to not think about what this person wants from you or how they may be telling you all the right things and really let their actions speak for their words and also make sure that you're following your heart because you are the empathic person in this relationship, in this dynamic. That message was really made clear between the two of you. So you're the one absorbing all the hurt, the pain, the trauma that possibly this person's going through now or in the past and what they're putting you through. So in order to avoid a tower moment, really spending some time and self-reflecting, is this relationship worth pursuing or is it worth self-love and walking away? And that's going to bring in this avoiding of the tower moment. Only you know what's best for you. This is a collective reading. So for some of you, you definitely may want to give this person another chance when you figure out that they're more interested in following a relationship with you. But for some of you, it's going to be a clear choice to choose self-love and walk away towards your own abundance. So thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like the video and subscribe. And until next time, have an amazing day.